The Muppets. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you heard right. The Muppets. I'm not talking about the fact that much of the 2011 movie was shot on the Universal backlot, although I can't deny being tickled by that. Is this the Universal Studios? Yes, it is. But no, Universal has control over different Muppets projects. Disney's pursuit of Muppet ownership has been well documented. They wanted to buy them when Jim was alive, then Jim died, Jim's family was resentful, and they reluctantly worked with Disney sometimes, but not exclusively, before finally selling to Disney, and then Disney barely does anything with the Muppets anymore. But some of those non-Disney Muppet projects in the middle there aired on NBC, like 2002's baffling A Very Merry Muppet Christmas Movie. You know, the lesser of the two stories where the Muppets had to put on a show and raise money to save the Muppet Show Theater? This one is largely an awkward parody of It's a Wonderful Life, although with no reference to the It's a Wonderful Life characters that two Sesame Street Muppets were named after. Watch him, Bert. Bert, oh, come on, Ernie! Come on. What's the matter with you two guys? You, you, you were here on my wedding night. You both of you stood out there on the porch and sung to us, don't you remember? And it also stopped by awkward parodies of every other Christmas story and special, and... Also, Moulin Rouge and Entrapment for some inexplicable reason, and a shockingly bad Steve Irwin impression for an even less explicable reason, and the movie's not all bad. There are actually a few well-done moments of Muppet fan service, but there's also Scooter Cage dancing, and thanks to production lag, the movie accidentally implies 9-11 was Kermit's fault. This movie's pretty weird. But the movie also spends way too much time being an NBC commercial. Corporate synergy. It's out of control. Eh, small favors, at least it's not on his ass. The passcode for God's office is the NBC chimes because NBC is a divinely benevolent network. And there's just so many crossover appearances from other NBC shows, just so, so many. The shocking thing's worked! I'm alive! No, you're dead. No, I'm alive! No, you're dead! I'm alive! Side note, despite the fact that it aired on NBC at the time, Scrubs was produced by Touchstone Television, so... Technically, the cast of Scrubs are also Disney characters who appear in this Universal product. So, being an NBC special all about the glories of NBC, with some Muppets also shoehorned in, the DVD was of course released by... MGM? Wait, what? Oh, oh right. The first DVD release was before the NBC Universal merger, and I guess back then MGM was just the studio that had dibs on either NBC stuff or Henson production stuff. I don't know which, and I'm... Too tired to keep researching. But after that merger, this officially became a Universal product, and the DVD was released by the proper studio, and I officially did not waste the past several minutes talking about something that didn't count. Everything is as it should be. Thank you, corporate overlords!